Hey everyone, it's Char from Char's Fashion Nation and today, okay, you guys already know that I sewed a stuffed mouse. If you've been keeping it, you know. Um, <laughs> my sewing machine it keeps getting in the way of the door over here. Um, it shouldn't be, but okay. So, if you've been keeping up, you know that I made this cutesy little stuffed mouse that I said also second as a neck pillow. Hmm. Got one little spot there that I have to stitch on it. No big. Um, then there's this cutesy little cat. I give it a tail. Um, the only thing I have to do on this today is just do, do this, just sew it together. And this cutesy pie is done. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? Okay. Then, because I didn't have enough of this left, I switched up the material for that. And all I have to do is whip stitch the back and... We have a dog here. If you can't tell, this is a dog. Um, I have its limbs over here, and I have one of the limbs stuffed, which I'm about to be for my food stuffed, and a tail for it, which I, no, I'm not going to turn this right side out. I stitched it and then forgot to switch it and stitch and switch, and it'll be like that decorative. Okay, and then you saw this in the thumbnail. I have to finish stuffing its head. You know what I just realized? That's almost like a, a poo bear. And then I have to add on its other leg and its other little arms. And then I have one here that I haven't even started stuffing anything on it. This is, this is going to be cute. It's going to be cute. Oh my gosh, you know, actually, I'm excited to get all this finished now. What I do have finished for the cutesy little one is a couple of ears here. I can figure out, okay, what kind of animal is this going to be? Um, it's going to be cute, though. So, my thing is, I've been on the sewing machine making, you know, sewing together at least the body of three of these this morning. Yay! And I got done around 1.27 in the afternoon, so like 11 something 11-ish until 1.27 in the afternoon. That's been on the sewing machine for a little while, but that's really not bad sewing time just for three stuffed animals. That's really not bad sewing time. Uh, so I have to separate the limbs out for this little darling. And I have to, you know, like I said, you know, finish stuffing it. I'm not done stuffing it. So I have to finish doing that and then getting its limbs stuffed. So I'm actually taking spare fabric from Rocco's short because I had to readjust his shorts and so I'm just taking the spare fabric from that got a piece of yarn on there um, and then cutting it in sections and stuffing it now the reason why I'm doing that you might be like well what are you doing that for um, the reason I'm doing that is because then I have more stuffing you may not think about that but You know, this is how people used to make their toys back in the day, is they would sew their toys rather than store-bought because, you know, they couldn't really afford anything. And whatever fabrics that they had, they would make stuffed animals out of for kids. And there's nothing wrong with that. If you, if you feel that you can or make in a stuffy's clothes, you know, like the little clothes that I showed you. I have to get that mailed off to Rindy. There's the little 
Okay, little shorts. Um, so this goes off to Rindy Ray. There's a bracelet from Mona G. I have to send a Christmas card to um, Robbie. Um, might have to change something up. Let's see if I have enough time in my day to make the Christmas cards. I didn't have enough time in the day. Um, the last couple of days. So, because I've been so busy. <laughs> You get that sewing joke. I've been so busy. Um, and right there, when I stop the head right here, and then we'll take this back, you start to see more of a shape. But I'm not going to pull it back too much because I only really like want it right here. And then more of the face gets stuffed in. And that's the thing about making a stuffed animal. You can actually shape it. And I know this only has one leg for now. Now, I actually did that by accident. So, um, if I want to, this this is, actually, this marks where the in-between for the legs go. Or I can just sew in here and have it go out. But I would prefer this to be the guppa area of the animal um, for purposes. Um... Say, for instance, like this one, right? Uh, actually cut out the full design, then pinned it together. And it's just, you know, the seam. And then the cutesy little dress on it. Oh my gosh. Well, the cutesy little dress I made for this, it, I think this is adorable. Any little girl would love to have something this adorable. And since it's one of a kind, and it comes from Char's fascination, where I'm so fascinated with being able to bring you, like, the most adorable thing. A cat and a mouse and a dog. <laughs> a cat, a mouse, and a dog. In the same package. Um, how does that work out? <laughs> uh, we can be funny about this. A cat, a mouse, and a dog get sent to three little kids that live in Ecuador. But, oh my gosh. But I'm not actually sending the package that they, those three stuffed animals are going to be in. I'm not sending that to Ecuador. That's actually going to somebody else's house where they will be in America enjoying their lovely stuffies. Their lovely little stuffies. And uh, what I can do on the back of this one, now that I have the head mostly stuffed, is figure out where I want and how much I want of this fabric to really take in at the back of the head because I'm going to take in at the neck obviously you pull in on the neck and that's how much fabric you would literally take in at the neck and then you leave the rest basically like this and now since I took this fabric here I'll show you on this I took this fabric from like the hemline of the shorts that I had made for Rocco. It'll have a clean line. So that'll be no problem with this one. It'll have a clean line on the back. And then I might use brown buttons for the eyes and a little black button for the nose. Which that'll be cute. Little black button for the nose. And if I wanted to and wanted to shape it out more, I could just go like that and literally stitch in and give it a totally like different design on the head. And that really works. And when you do that whip stitch, it gives it more character. As you can see there, it absolutely gives it more character. Or just take it out like this and then you whip stitch down on both sides. Either way, that's going to give this stuffy a lot of character. 
my gosh, now that one's starting to look like a dog too. Um, so yeah, either way that you take this, this is going to be adorable. Oh, I can't wait to finish this. It's so cute. I didn't know I could make such cutimus things. It's new word for everybody. Cutimus. We have butimus and there's cutimus. And do I have ears for this? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. So, like, there you go. There's an ear for that one. Of course, I have the legs. Um, where did my ears go for this little stuffy? All right. Well, I had some ears cut for this. They might have accidentally made it on the inside. But uh, that's, that is no big deal because with this one... I have enough fabric left where I can just cut some ear shapes and hand stitch them and then put them on here. But of course, you know, I shaped in the face a bit so it has that snout right here. It has that little snout and it's cutimus. It's cutimus. And I can just take it like that again. It still has that face shape, the little smile. Um, <laughs> but yeah, where did its ears go? Um, I might just have to cut it some new ears. And then this one that I still need to stuff. Now this one, I, you know, I have a lot of this fabric, but it's not scrap fabric because it's a brand new fabric. Um, some of this is fabric that I've had. And I'm just using, like, look. Perhaps just take your scraps. They're rhyming. <laughs> and just stuff away. Oh, that's a scrap piece of, uh... <laughs> That was this loose thread that was just laying around. But yeah, it's really about that easy. If you have a charity organization in your town or township, however you may call it, um, check and see if they need help with children's toys. And uh, nine times out of ten, I can even take this scrap fabric and stuff it in there. So, if you really think about it, taking the scrap fabric and stuffing it in there, you're also stuffing it with memories. You are. You're stuffing it with memories. So, memories of this year, because tomorrow is the end of this year. Um, oh, I know some people are excited. Some people are like, blah. Depends on your mood. And, uh, yeah, it does. Depends on your mood. Some people are bleh. I don't know why. Don't be a Scrooge or a Grinch. But, yeah, just take your scraps. And I know sometimes there's big scraps that, you know, you don't have enough to make something out of. And that's where it comes in and makes good stuffing for a stuffed animal and works out great because the more you save from going into the landfill because there are very wasteful people out there that just, they throw away anything it's stupid I'm just gonna say it. it's stupid don't just nitpick and throw everything away sometimes things can be reused but Unless your animal peed on it, um, and it happens to be a male animal, then no. But um, other than that, like, don't be wasteful. The more you put back into the environment, the less it is, or the more it is, like, uh, I, okay, on the neck I have to do some whip stitch. <laughs> Sometimes your machine doesn't catch the fabric, and then... When you're doing something and you notice it's all it's all cool because you know you can whip stitch that like 
I love making things for people. I absolutely do. I love making things for people. Like I said, you know, Mona G gets her bracelet. Rindy, Rindy has little Joey's clothes. Excuse me. Um, and this is going to be great. And if you really think about it, I'm sitting here talking to you while stuffing a stuffed animal, getting part of it done. So that as soon as I get this part done, and this is what I did with these last three stuffed animals. Get the majority of the body done. So I have enough time in the day to actually finish three of them off in one day. Now normally that's hard to accomplish. And uh, it is. Normally that's hard to accomplish. But I'm like, you know what? Just let me power through this. Boom, boom, boom. Knocked three stuffed animal bodies out with their limbs. And um, am able to bring it to you, obviously. Um, which is great. Because then you get to like see the work and progress. And, uh, yeah, I'm just like, mm, I'm glad to just be able to do this. Okay, i got to find that stuffies parts. Where did I put that? Well, they're around here. Huh, don't tell me I stuffed it in there. That's okay. Nah, they're right here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this is going to be cute. Because when I get the ears on here, I think I can put the ear on there like that. Oh, that kind of looks like a little fox or a different mouse. Or just put the ear on here like this. I don't know. I don't know yet. We'll figure this out. I have to stuff the face. Oh. I have to stuff the face. really do. I have to stuff the face and get that shaped out. Ooh, sorry for the sun coming in that bright. Ooh, that's some super brightness. Actually, it's better because it's been dreary all day. Ugh. But like I said, you know, get these done. This kind of looks like a mouse too. Oh my gosh, did I make a second mouse? I think I did. And didn't even realize it. But that's okay. Um, children love stuffed animals. There's actually a lot of adults that collect stuffed animals. And, um, you know, some things are a collector's item. These, I can hope one day, can be heirloom toys. You know, hopefully. Not a lot of people keep things as heirlooms and they just throw them away. But think about this. Some of these toys out here are actually lower in value when you get them. Higher in value later on. Think about that. So, um, as soon as I have these three done, the three amigos, <laughs> actually, the, no, no, wrong one. Three amigos. Going in one package. Um, and then these two amigos in another package. But that's going to be so lovely. Um, and then like I said, was starting to say, as soon as I get them done, <laughs> after I'm done eating my food, kids, I had to take a break and make something to eat. Um... I will come back with finished toys and uh, show you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So excited to show you the finished products. And since one of these is for a little girl, um, like that one over there, um... If I have enough material, I have to see if I still have enough of this material. I'm not sure if I do now. Um, to make like a little garment for it as well. 
And if not, I'll find a, another fabric that matches and make the garment out of that. Absolutely. Um, but the others are for boys. So, so let's see, I made a toy for Doug Paulson Jr. Um, and a toy for his sister Janae. So, Doug Jr. and Janae are paying attention. Hmm. Your parents may not let you watch the second video, so you're all surprised. Um, <laughs> and the other three are for Chris, for kicking it with Chris. It's for her children. And um, I'm so happy to be able to make them something that they might not otherwise be able to have. Um, over in Ecuador. So, I mean, serious. You might not be able to have something like that in Ecuador. Um, absolutely. I mean, to me, and I've said this in other videos, I think I even said it yesterday, being kind enough to do something for other people without asking in return is probably the best feeling. Um, knowing that you did something for other people without expecting a hand back um, is also a good feeling. When you're honest enough to do such a thing, <laughs> You feel really good and you know you don't think like what more can I do well I'm sure there's a lot more that I can do for a lot more people um, I have things to do for a few people after all this you now uh, Robbie's hat will or I should say gloves he has a hat I gave him a hat last year Robbie's gloves will be a little late getting to you so that's extended Christmas for you, man. <laughs> um, and then for Doug and Kelly Paulson, it's the stuff from Sin City Soaps and Candles. You two share that. Because, oh my gosh, it's going to be so fun. Oh, although Doug, you and Kelly may be fighting over the uh, bathtub for who gets to use the bath bomb unless you want to smell like chocolate and roses. <laughs> um, or even the, uh, the foot, uh, soak powder. Um, you, you may even, well, I, it's actually for a body, but you could I probably actually just put that in a foot soak. Just the, foot soak tub and relax your feet that's what I plan on doing get myself one of those foot soak bins um, put hot water in it and then because I'm gonna order some of this stuff for myself and soak my feet heck yes your foot health is very important but that would be a health talk um, in fact your skin health is very important and so what I'll be doing on the next thing around don't forget you can use my non expiration date code Shars Nation 10 to get 20% off your entire order so anytime you order from Sun City soaps and candles and you use my promo code you automatically get 20% off your entire purchase. Now, they're very reasonably priced. And, you know, I still have some Bath and Body Works soaps. And I would actually like to do a comparison. I think I said this yesterday. I would like to do a comparison to see how much a bar of the Sin City soaps and candles 
bar of soap compared to a soap and lotion from Bath and Body Works actually lasts because they put a uh, they put a lotion in their soap that way you get double it's a moisturizing soap so you have double or you can go ahead and order a lotion that goes with your soap and it costs less than Bath and Body Works on a daily basis think about that think about that you can smell just as good as you can from Bath and Body Works for a lesser price I mean there's a lot of people that shop online for their Bath and Body Works we can shop online with them too and like I said you use my promo code SHARSNATION10 and it's all in caps lock <laughs> It's all in caps lock, Shars Nation 10, and there's no little uh, things in between the S and the R uh, for Shar. So, um, for Shar, so you don't have to like go up here and be like, oh, I need to put that in and then the S. So, no, you don't have to do that. Just put in the word. And the number 10, the 1 and the 0. And you get that 20% discount. Who doesn't like savings? I like savings. You like savings. I like savings. We all like savings. And I will be testing out some product for them when I do order again. Which will be... Hmm. <laughs> oh like it's a great thing oh and um since tomorrow's the end of the year and we all have 2020 coming up the end of one thing is the beginning of another and sometimes when one thing ends and something else begins sometimes it's better for you so that you get away from the stress and the anguish and maybe you've put yourself through something and you just need to walk away from it and live a whole different life start out fresh and uh, you know, sometimes that makes you feel better I'll still be here though. <laughs> oh, I'll still be here um because I have a lot of sewing videos to do. I need to restock on yarn. Um, yeah, I have a lot of things to teach you guys. Teaching. Who doesn't love knowledge? I love to teach and I love to learn. So, um, and also I was thinking about making something for David Hall and his wife, Brenda, from Cooking with Brenda. And there are granddaughters, Sadie. Sadie's cute. She's a cute kid. I don't care what people say if she's like looking at her grandpa. Oh, I'm watching you. <laughs> she's funny. Um, because she actually gets in the kitchen with her grandma, Brenda. And my glasses are now cleaner. <laughs> she actually gets in the kitchen with her grandma, Brenda. And, uh learns how to cook. There's nothing wrong with teaching children how to cook in your own kitchen. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Let them put an ingredient in the bowl and help you stir it. Um, or have them help you pour it in whatever you're using as long as it's a baking dish because you don't want like things you know kicking back on a kid obviously and you know having grease or whatever snap on them that's one thing you always have to be careful about see like with my kids I always let them help me with baking and um friday nights was nacho nights i would make homemade corn chips homemade chili melt some cheese 
get out the sour cream and fresh salsa that I would make. You know, I made the salsa fresh, not the sour cream. <laughs> but, uh, and have this huge bowl shaped like a fish <laughs> full of the nachos and let them watch a movie. But put on a movie for them. And uh, they enjoyed that so much, but I would let them, you know, help me with the ingredients for the chili. I'd be like, all right, here, you get to pour that in. And this is before I would make it too hot or I would lift the, my daughters up. I have two girls and they were small. So I would lift them up and let them carefully pour the beans in or carefully put some garlic or the tomatoes you know something simple like that i would just let them pour it in see like teaching your kids how to cook that's always a good thing or bake um i always let them help with putting in the dry ingredients <laughs> cracking the eggs was my job and you know whipping it up unless it was the boys then i let them help with mixing but, uh, boys, because I have two boys, two boys, two girls in that order. And, uh, yeah, I would let them help me. I would make their birthday cakes from scratch. Yeah. The frosting. Um, oh my gosh. It's not like my kids didn't have fun with me. But, uh. And then I would make stuff for them, you know? I would make clothes, or I would take old clothes and modify them so that they fit because we didn't have a lot of money. Um, that's starting to look like that. That's funny. Okay, this if, if you curled that in, <laughs> you know, it, would be, it would be a seahorse. I'm not making a seahorse. That's where the other leg goes. This one, I have to actually shape this one I have I have to hand sew this one unless I can get the machine you know to sew it the way I need um other than that you know it's like don't hesitate to get your kids in the kitchen never hesitate uh they actually really enjoy that a lot of you out there know that but anyway with that point, we weren't really talking about this we were talking about children and fun things and toys and how a lot of kids that don't have the chance to have stuff um, enjoy what they are able to get. Um, families that are so modest because they don't have a lot and somebody's willing, you know, to go um, the distance for other people because that's just how you are. That's how your soul is. And and if you don't have that soul or that heart to uh, do good for other people, it's time to rethink and readjust. And, you know, maybe that's when it's time to, like, step away from something and start over and figure things out. So, anyway, guys. And that's why I do a lot of things for other people. The cutesy toys, um, sewing, you know. Uh, Rocco yesterday said this looked like a Hello Kitty with stripes. I guess if I had put a bow on it, if I had put a bow on it right here. I almost thought about doing that, but then I was like, Rocco said that. And I'm like, oh, then I don't dare put a bow on it. Because when it gets to kicking it with Chris, I did, wouldn't want it monet demonetization happening so it'll be as it is but i'm going to sew on like a little um a little bobble right here like a uh and i have this too i have some really like pretty beads so i'm just gonna sew on a pretty bead right here and make it even more cutesy and if you want to know, this does sit, you just have to sit her a specific way in order for her to fully sit upright. So, let's see if I can get her to do this. I'll have to excuse the desk. Yes, excuse the desk with all the cutimus. 
<laughs> okay. Sit. Sit, girl, sit. Hold on. Could we do it? <gasps> Yay! Okay, and this one also sits. Just have to get the mouse a certain way. Oh no, she's gonna fall. Now this mouse sat. Oh, there we go. They both sit. So these two actually sit. You just really have to put the cat a certain way. There we go. The cat and the mouse actually sit. And then I'll work on seeing if the other two will sit. Um, but yeah, they're actually really like cool. Don't let it creep you out. They're just cool, you know? And um, even though they're, I guess they're almost the same size. I didn't notice that, except for a couple of the toys. But um, I hope you enjoyed this. So stay happy. I'm going to let them be in there. Stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. And um, we'll all see you later.